All right, guys, here on Homestead Know How Life is Good today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to remove the rear seat, at least half of the rear seat is what we're taking out, but it works the same for both sides. We're going to remove the rear seat on a Chevy Express 3500 2012 model van. This will work on a 1500 and a 2500 model as well. And I'm going to assume that it'll work for multiple years because they don't really change a whole lot on these Chevy Express vans. It's a rainy day, so let's get back here in the back of the van, stay dry in the garage, and get this seat took out. Okay, so on the back, this van has the rubberized floor liner. So it's got some spots cut out in it. There's a gray lever. It latches down like that. You just pull it up, pull straight out. It's a pin. There's gonna be one more over here on this side. Pull it up, pull it out, move it out of the way. And then you're gonna put your hand here, pull up, and straight back. And it releases the seat. And you just kind of walk it back. Now on these seats, the backs do not flip forward. It has bolts on the sides and in the back to actually remove the back. I think that's a bad design for the Chevy Express vans. Maybe that's something they'll change in the future. So then you just gotta pick your seat up and find a spot to sit it. And it's gonna work the same for the other side. If you look right here, there's flaps. And you've got levers as well. And of course you'll have to take your jack out possibly to get this side out so Other ones right here. Oh, well that's kind of weird actually they've got two pins on this side you've got the left hand side and then the right hand side so and they're they've actually color coded them for whatever reason these are black and these are gray so maybe that tells you that it's the right side left side so for now that's all we're taking out of this van is just this left side seat just uh so we can haul a little extra stuff. We don't need all the seating in the van as of right now. So I hope this helps someone. Again, this is a 2012 Chevy Express 3500, and this should work for 1500 and 2500 models of multiple years, because once again, Chevy hasn't changed much on these vans. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Hope it helps. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we hope you'll have a blessed day.